Welcome to Gorgeous Gals. We are so glad that you joined us and hope you enjoy today's project. I call it a river of turquoise and that's because the band of turquoise that goes around the body of the gourd. The supplies I will be using are paper towels for cleanup, formula 49 which is a conditioner that cleans the outside of the gourd and gets the skin of the gourd ready to receive the paint or dye that you use for your projects. I also use makeup applicators from the dollar store to apply the Formula 49 to the outside of the gourd. Typically, I clean the outside of several gourds at the same time and then let them dry overnight. Today, I'm using ink dye in the color Burnt Orange and I'll be applying it with a triangular sponge makeup applicator that I also get from the dollar store. I use finely crushed turquoise and if you notice the thickness around the neck of the gourd, it gives you a clue as to how deep I can carve the channel for the turquoise to set into. And finally, I use a clear drying glue and I make sure that it has UV protection so it doesn't yellow. The first step is to put Formula 49 on the makeup applicator and just clean the entire outside of the body of the gourd, getting all the debris and dirt off of it. And while you're cleaning it, you're also conditioning the gourd to receive the dye that we're gonna be using on it. Next is the design process. And I'm using a regular number two pencil and a kneading eraser. I really like using this type of eraser because it doesn't leave any kind of residue or debris and it's great for artists. I start by drawing my first organic line around the bottom of the gourd. I will review it several times and erase sections I don't like and redraw it, making adjustments before I ever move on to the next line. When I'm happy with the way my first line looks, I will draw my second line above the first. I will go about an inch and a half to about two inches above um, the original line and draw another organic line. I don't want it to be exactly like the bottom line because I'm not looking for precision. I like curves and angles, but I don't like them to be in a precise pattern. I then draw a few irregular ovals, like little stepping stones between the two lines. I noticed that there were a few lines I didn't like, so I was erasing them and making minor adjustments until I was happy with the final look. Up next is the carving. I use a Gord Master Carver and I really like that it has a foot pedal which makes it really easy to start and stop and it also has a speed control. This is my gourd that I will be carving. I use a paintbrush to keep the dust off the gourds as I carve and I use a face mask because the dust from the carving is not healthy. Oops. I forgot to record the actual carving process. A YouTube newbie air, so sorry. Now that the carving is done, I'm going to color the gourd with the burnt orange ink dye. I apply the dye to the foam applicator and rub it into the body of the gourd. I'm going to speed through this process because I don't think you wanna watch me spend 20 minutes coloring a gourd. As I'm coloring this gourd, with the burnt orange, I'm realizing I really don't like the way it's coming out. The contrast between the orange and turquoise would have been beautiful, but the orange is not strong enough. In art, there's no errors, there's only redesigns, so I decided to make a change and use rust instead. It's a stronger color, a little more red than orange, but it still gives a strong contrast. As you can see, 
The rust is much better than the burnt orange. The difference is day and night in my mind's eye. I really think it's gonna look prettier with the rust instead of the orange. Again, I'll speed through the process of painting the rust. Now that the gourd has been painted, I'm going to seal the inside, which is a process I will show you in the next video. But once the resin has dried, I'll start to glue the turquoise in the channel around the body of the gourd. I started with a glue that was too thin and was not happy with the interaction between the gourd, the glue, and the turquoise. So I had to switch to a thicker glue that still dried clear and had the UV protection. And the thicker glue worked much better. Okay, this time I was recording, but the memory was full and I didn't notice it until after I finished gluing the second layer of turquoise. So I didn't get that process, but here's the finished product. We hope you enjoyed going through this process with us and we promise you we will only get better. We have a lot to learn and your kind words and kind comments and suggestions are greatly appreciated. If you found value in this video, please click the like button and be sure to come back next Friday. Thank you so much for joining us and you have a gorgeous day. Bye.